We are on the Zildjian stand and we are looking at Zildjian AE, as you can see behind me. Um, with us we have Chris Ryan um, from Gen 16, uh, well, from Zildjian. Uh, both, I suppose. Both, both, yes. And he is going to talk us through the new direct contact pickup on the AE symbol. So, hi Chris. What have you got to show us? Well, the big story for this year is the new direct source pickup. Uh, some people may be familiar with the AE symbol system we introduced at NAM 2011. Uh, which used a microphone to capture the sound. Um, there's been a demand for using these on a live stage. They want to get them in rock volume, you know, uh, large clubs, large arenas, that whole thing. And the microphone wasn't necessarily suited for that. You know, an open microphone picks up so many things and there could be a, a danger of feedback. So we listened and we created what we call the direct source pickup. The pickup itself is attached directly to the symbol. And now we can harness all of the frequencies that that symbol has to offer by and also eliminating feedback, crosstalk, or any bleed from any other instruments. Okay, so uh, people who've got the existing AE symbols, they can just retrofit these, presumably? They can, they can retrofit, upgrade. It works with the uh, same DCP that was uh, also available in 2011. Okay, is there a software upgrade needed as well? Th there is, and I also want to make people aware of uh, a tool called the uh, DCP Access Tool. Uh, it's a software piece that allows the user to not only upgrade their firmware and upgrade presets, but they can customize the presets themselves. Okay, now, just I think we ought to explain, uh, just for certain members of the public, uh, these are not triggers, are they? They are what we are hearing when you will play it in a few minutes is the actual vibration of the symbols. We are not hearing any samples, no Absolutely, triggering. Absolutely, no samples whatsoever. My, my best parallel is an electric guitar. Yep. Electric guitar has a low volume string, you amplify that, uh, they run it through their favorite stomp boxes and they shape the sound. Hence the reason we call them tone shapes. All of our presets are called tone shapes. Fantastic. I think we ought to go and have a listen then. Yes. So I'd like to put the cymbals in a bit of a musical context here and show you what's, uh, what's possible with some of the tone shapes. I'll start off by showing you some of the uh, different hi-hat patches here. and I'm changing presets here on the DCP. And you can hear how the tonal characteristics change. A little lighter hi-hat there. Now I want to go something to a little heavier. Okay, so this might be appropriate for like a rock tune. So I'm gonna go ahead and play a tune for you. Let me get prepared. Here we go.
So now we're going to actually look at the pickups, because as you can probably see, they are lovely, well, at the moment, they are lovely blue color. But as Chris is about to explain, that's not fixed. So, right. the pickups. So uh, yes, uh, well, this is the preamp, also part of the pickup, uh, which has uh, some really nice lighting effects built in. You know, you got to have bling for the drummer. Uh, we've added a half a dozen animations, so you'll see how the lights fade in and out. I can change to a, something a little more like, uh, I guess, a Cylon effect if, for those sci-fi fans. I can also change the color as well. So about 11 different color presets. Match your drum kit if you like. And I don't know if you noticed before, but uh, when we were playing, or when you were listening to the tune, the, the preamp actually flashed. When you hit it. When yeah. you hit it, yeah. So. Very cool. And uh, we were just mentioning about the, uh, the damping pins as well. Yes, uh, the damping pins actually um, are, are huge in actually customizing the sound. Yeah. I mean, of course, there's 4,000 holes in each cymbal, yeah. and it, it could have a, a variation in sound anywhere you put it. This just happens to be where I prefer to dry the cymbal out, just to give it a little bit more stick definition. Okay, and so presumably the further you put out the cymbal, the less it influences the low end or whatever else you need. So exactly. You can fine tune the cymbals to be your sound. You bet. Fantastic.